Shalom. I want to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of the Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hope for the lip. Believing on the word, say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, uh, this lesson is entitled nobody has 100 percent truth that 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 question mark okay and the inspiration of the lesson is this guy all right he made a couple of statements you know the elder not to talk by first apostle elder saha you know well actually first the elder kazak out of mississippi you know and all the brothers caught wind of you know this guy saying that all the heads, it's a decree for all the heads of Israel to come together. But what I want to focus on, all right, in this lesson is, is something this guy said, all right, at the uh, 14 minute and 47 mark, all right, that's the uh, reason for, for me doing this lesson, okay? Let's listen to it. Highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to Yahweh had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Right? So it's a lot of preeminence going on. The Lord set aside right not to seek the preeminence. Right? The Lord will exalt you if you need to be exalted. Right? You don't need to think highly of yourself. You're not uh, Yahweh Shah. You're not King David. Right? You don't know who you are, man. So you got to move humbly and and and. and be, uh, matter of fact, let me get a preset. Matthew 5 and verse 8. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see Yahweh. Right? You got to be pure. You got to be meek. You got to be humble. You don't need to exalt yourself. You don't need to act like you the top tier. Right? If, you, if you're not in my camp, you're not in the truth. We got 144% truth. You thinking too highly of yourself, man. We got 144% truth. You thinking too highly of yourself, man. We got 144% truth. You thinking too highly of yourself, man. All right. And that's what I want to focus on because we, we know that was a shot at GMS. That was a shot, you know, at our apostles and elders. Because who says we has the 100% truth? Of course, he said 144%. But, you know, he, he was, uh, what is the word, uh, the phrase, beating around the bush. You know, not coming straight forward. Okay? And the only camp that says, you know, that they have 140% truth is us here at GMS. All right? And these guys love to run to one particular scripture. All right? Let's go get it. <clears throat> They love to run to one particular scripture saying that we don't have 100% truth. Well, if you call yourself leading somebody, but you don't know <laughs> where you're going, how the hell you expect somebody to follow you? How? You saying that you only have a certain percent of truth. All right, that means you don't know the way. And I'm not going to follow you. Okay? Now, this is the scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 9. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, right? So this is what they run to to say, no one has 100% true. Well, let's go into this word part, okay? Because you you clearly going off, all right? Strong's G, 33.13. The Strong's G, 3313, Meros. Meros. All right. That was the pronunciation. Let's get it. It says, a part, like in a movie. It says, a part do or assign to one. See? Destiny. Lot. That's what that part, that word parts mean. You're, you're playing, when you come back, you're going to be in your lot. You want to be in what the Lord has already destined for you to play, right? Matter of fact, let's prove that. Let's go to Revelation chapter 10, right? And 
Verse 11, and he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. What is that? That's you coming back in your part. That's you coming back in your lot. All right. Let, oh, let's prove it further. Um, yeah. Daniel chapter 12. Okay. What did Yahweh Shah say to Daniel? Let's get it. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 13. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot. What? And stand in thy lot at the end of days. So when it say we know in part, we prophesy in our lot or we know in our lot. Every man doesn't have the same measure as he read earlier in Matthew. All right. Whatever is measures met, met out to you by your how about That's the part or the lot you're going to participate in. That don't mean no one's going to have 100% true. All right. And matter of fact, let's prove it. Let's go to the book of John. So we dispelled that myth. All right. Because that word part actually means lot. In your lot, you're going to prophesy. In your lot, you're going to know <laughs> the things that you've known before. All right? You're going to have that understanding as you had before. Right? Uh, John, what do you, how should I say? Um, that which, is, which you have uh, shall be taken away. And we'll have to go get that. All right? Because that's going into that same lot that you're going to be in. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, or the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. No, something. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. And did Yahweh have 100 percent true of course he did all right and the scriptures say whatever i have said unto you and, and the lord is not going to leave us all right without the way home man without the correct way of coming back to the father he's just not going to do that that's confusion the lord is not an author of confusion let's stay in the book of john <clears throat> john Chapter 17, right? And verse 6 I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. That's why we have the name, right? It says, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. You see, the word that Yahweh. Sent to Yahweh Shai, all right? He gave it to his men. And we just read that he was going to give them back all things. It says, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them, what? For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. What? <laughs> They have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. You see that? That's undisputable. Yahweh Shai said, all things I have made known unto them, which you gave to me. Man, that's 100% true. Matter of fact, let's go here. You know what? Yeah, let's continue. If the spirit come back up to get that Matthew, we'll get it. Uh, 1 John, right? All right. <laughs> 1 John, chapter 2, and uh, verse, verse 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Let's read it again. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, 
and ye know all things. What is that? You know all things, man. Matter of fact, let's look at this word unction. Right? You have an unction from the Holy One. It's like charisma. Strong's G5545. Chisma. Chisma. Let's see. It says anything smeared on ungent ointment, yeah, for us to be healed, right? To us, the uh, the word healed us, and, and and this word has been made known to us through the Holy Spirit, usually prepared by the Hebrews from oil and and aromatic herbs. Anointing was the inaugural ceremony for priests. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see. Oh, of the Holy Spirit. What? <laughs> it says the special endowment of the Holy Spirit. Anointing unction. You see? So the Holy Spirit, all right, has taught us all things. And what Yahweh said in John 14 and 26, I will send you the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, and he shall teach you all things Whatever I have made known unto you, right? And how do we know that? Because we in the end. Matter of fact, uh, let's go back to Revelation. Okay. Chapter 5. All right. And verse 9. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us unto the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. The point is what? The seals were opened by the Lamb. He was worthy to open the seals. So that means what? The whole book is now open. It is now revealed. But to only those who Yahweh shall shout has, has that Holy Spirit rested upon. Right? Because you, you, uh, you got the skin. All right, you got the tendons, you got the muscles, but you don't have the breath. That's why you don't have the spirit of Yahweh by Shabbat Shah. All right, that's why you can't believe that the Lord sent out 100% doctrine, man. That's why. Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, see, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. 100%, man. Okay? Shut up the words and seal the book. Well, we just read that the book has been unsealed. We just read where the book would be unsealed, man. All right? And that's that's clear. Meaning what the Yahweh Shavashai has given his men... 100% of the doctrine that's needed to be saved. All right? That's, that's that's period. Okay? Matter of fact, yeah, let's get that. Um, What is that? 1 Timothy 4? Let's see. I think it's at the end. Yep. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee so what is this doctrine that you have about shall i say you're gonna have well it's the hundred percent truth point blank period because that's the way you're gonna what for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself see and them that hear thee point blank period all right let's go here Cause it, it's it's all over the scriptures, all right. Let's uh, do this. Let's go to the book of Sarah, okay? Or Ecclesiasticus, chapter sixteen. Sarah sixteen. Because it, it's the doctrine. Okay? And, and if you're saying that you have, don't have 100% truth, all right, that's not in harmony with the scriptures. 
That's not what Yahweh Bashar Shah said. Point blank, period. Salakia. <laughs> this is uh, Sarak, chapter 16. I will show forth doctrine and wait and declare his knowledge exactly. Let's read this again. I will show forth doctrine and wait and declare his knowledge exactly. Meaning what? You got the 100% truth. All right, it said exactly. All right, it didn't say uh, off here, off there. It said exactly. All right, and that's the be that's that's the end all be all. All right, so yeah, somebody has one hundred percent truth in the earth because you have Bashar Shah says that his men, all right, has is going to have one hundred percent truth. All right, and the men here at GMS has one hundred percent truth, whether you want to believe it or not. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord Will has been edifying. I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom.